Hey guys, Joey Jams. Welcome back to Eat in the City. Now one of my favorite things about living in New York City is finding those sort of weird, unusual, crazy, out of the way places that when you go there, you go, this place could only exist in New York City. Today I'm going to take you to my favorite one of these places. It's in Chinatown. It's on the corner of Walker and Lafayette and it's called Sao Voy. And what they make is a mean banh mi sandwich. The one thing about this sandwich stand that makes it a little unusual, it's inside a DVD store. <laughs> Let's check it out. sandwiches and let's try these bad boys out. Alright, so the one drawback of my amazing sandwich shop is that you actually have to find a place to eat your sandwich. That's not too hard in Chinatown. I got two sandwiches. I got the banh mi made with pork and ham pate and then I also got the banh mi made with fish. So there's two options. Those are my two favorites. They're my two sort of standbys. I got myself a little coconut water to wash it down. Let's talk about the banh mi. The craze started, I first heard about a banh mi about a year ago. Then they seem to be everywhere all at once. There's a couple of key things that we're looking for with the banh mi, which is the Vietnamese response to the hoagie or the, or the subway sandwich. You want a nice, crusty baguette or good bread of some sort. I love, uh, I love Sao Boy's bread, all right? That's probably the top number one thing right off the bat. All right, so starting off here, we got a beautiful crusty French bread on the outside, key for a great banh mi. Inside, we got the, the standard banh mi, the things that make a banh mi a banh mi. We got the pickle, we got the cilantro, we got the diced carrots. In this case, we have fish and a little bit of mayonnaise and some hot sauce. That's a beautiful sandwich, simple as could be. Too much going on, but just enough flavor and complexity to make it a really interesting sandwich. The pickle and the cilantro provide a certain high note at the end, and then there's an earthy uh, flavor that comes from the fish and the bread. It's just a great combination. It's a really delicious sandwich. My second bond me is the ham and pork. Looks like they gave me a little turkey on there as well. No problem. Again. Any, any meat will suffice. The thing that really stands the banh mi apart from other sandwiches are the condiments. The carrots, the cilantro, the Thai chili sauce, and the pickle. Again, great fresh ingredients. The pickle, sort of cooling it down. The chili sauce, heating it up. Wash it down with a little uh, coconut milk. And I'm off to do a little uh, Chinatown shopping. Join me next time. I'm heading off to eat the city.